It is March 24th, 2021, lesson 144. We start with, my mind holds only what I think of God. Review for 27, there is no love but God's. 28, the world I see holds nothing that I want. So I wanted to understand something with you guys as we start to fully accept things, then it automatically lets us get into peace. So when I started my journey, I would get into these social flows, right? And I didn't really realize how flow could be adapted in different domains, right? You can do it in sports, you can do it socially, you can do it even through meditations and practice. Because, again, whatever we accept fully will take us to this peace. So, when we look at crucifixion of Christ, right? Jesus was said to have died for her sins. Now, basically what he's demonstrating is that there is no sin. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't have errors within ourselves because we need to correct these things. And the only way that we know that needs to be corrected and that it is corrected is by understanding that we have our problems. So when we realize these problems, then we basically come to the realization of being in. Okay. What does this mean? That we don't really realize that we're in it until we're in it, okay? So when we're in the flow state, sometimes you, you just naturally get into this flow without even knowing what's going on until you actually take a step back and realize what was going on. The same aspect with any lucid dreaming. You don't really realize it until you are dreaming, right? There's some form of familiarity. There is an attention that is brought to you by looking at things. You're like, oh, this is so interesting. I'm really taking it in for what it is. Even with releasing, right? When you have these moments that you're just like constantly releasing, 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 that and just snaps or breaks something open you didn't realize that you were in it until you are actually cognizant of being in it now why is this important to understand when it comes to the lessons for today right there is no love but god's the world i see holds nothing i want because when we fully accept things then we're fully accepting the love of god Okay, anything outside of that is not. Okay, it's just kind of like the idea of the absence of light, right? It's not that it's the opposite of light. It's just that there is no light, okay? It's a lack of light. So when we look at the world, I see, and that it holds nothing that it wants, it is, again, because we keep thinking that our salvation can only be done when we die, right? That um, heaven is only promised and for some reason after our lives, or that we don't have to actually do the work because Jesus already did it for us, right? It's kind of like getting a participation trophy or something like that. Like, yes, you'll, you know, do your thing and you know, live an okay life, but nonetheless, what you are realizing is that this is not just what you want, okay? This is not the life that you want because, again, you're not happy. So you're limiting yourself on the, the experience of yourself, okay? 
Because for you to understand what you're made of, you have to actually know what it feels like to get into the flow states. What it feels like to actually be in this meditative state, to be in the now. When you have that moment, that's when you reach this enthusiasm within yourself, right? So you have the steps of enlightened doing, right? You have acceptance, so you fully accept things, and then you enjoy things. You enjoy it for what it are, no matter what it is. And the more you do that acceptance and enjoyment, that's when you start getting into this enthusiasm. And again, the idea of enthusiasm back in the Greek definition of it was being possessed by God. Okay, so when we are in flow states, when we are constantly releasing, because that's basically what it is, right? You, you're you non-judging, uh, non-attached, and non-resistant, right? So if you find something that points out your flaws so you can get into flow, right? From flaw to flow, because that's basically what we're doing. When we do jujitsu, when we do any kind of social um, training, if you want to call it that, anything that has to do with uh, even releasing, right? You're, you're learning about yourself, and when you look at the flaws where you have limited yourself and you let that go, now you're allowed to get into the flow state because that's, that's the thing that was blocking you from actually, right? You have to accept your limitations, your shortcomings, because that's basically all it is. And the more that you see that you are imperfect, then you start to see what is perfect, right? It's the machine that is so adaptable to pretty much any kind of environment that you want to put it in that is constantly trying to figure out new approaches to whatever kind of task in hand. I mean, we've gone to the moon for Christ's sake. Right? We've, we've done so many things. We've learned how to manipulate the body and create science and so many things because of our understanding of where we've been limited at. So once we start accepting these flaws, then we know where our limitations have been, where our barriers are at, so we can actually break through those barriers. And it's all about seeing yourself in that which you keep trying to dissuade from, right? Because most often times we dissuade from things because we feel like we need to find some form of approval from the outside world. But again, we don't really need it because if we really believe that we have the love of God, then it wouldn't really matter. And then basically anything that we see in the outside world that try to justify the means of some of the things that we're supposed to be doing, again, being dictated by the outside world doesn't allow you to actually make your own choices. It doesn't make you in charge of your life because if you change your decisions, you can change your life and that all starts within yourself because if you don't feel like you're in control, if you don't feel like you can say, if it's for me, it's for me, if it's not, it's not, let go and let God, then that's where you're stuck at. And that's only going to become even worse because the more you start to realize that the more it starts to unveil itself right and that's why people start to turn away because it's so difficult for them to look at these flaws and look at them as parts that need loving that's all it is